Hi everyone, here's a translation for chapter 40. Quintus meets, meets an old friend. Quintus, decem dies, time how long accusative, decem dies. Quintus, for ten days, was staying at Capua, locative there, um, looking present participle for his parents, but he accomplished nothing. At last, he sadly left from Capua, and he started on the journey which was leading to Rome. On the street, he was always asking travellers, num, whether, so we've got that asking, perception, so whether, question, subjunctive, so we've got an indirect question, whether they had seen his parents, rogabat, imperfect, so it's secondary sequence and it's a question about the past, and so it's pluperfect subjunctive, but no one was able to tell him what had happened, was able, imperfect, secondary sequence, what is your question word, and then it's a question about the past, so it's pluperfect again. At last he went to Rome, but he did not dare, semi-deponent verb, looks passive, but is active, audeo, is I dare, so that looks like it's a normal indicative verb, but when it's in the perfect tense, it goes into the passive form, so it's semi-deponent. He was sitting next to the street, confectus, perfect passive participle, exhausted with his worries, soon he fell asleep. In his dream, the god Apollo appeared to him. Apollo here, the god of poetry, so that's why he is a particular, I suppose, patron god for Quintus, although actually, really, Quintus's patron god was Mercury. Um, he was carrying a lyre in his hands, and he looked at Quintus with a kind expression. He said, Quintus, listen to me. You will never see your parents again. Don't reject or don't fight against fate. It is time to take on a new course of life. You ought to serve me. Page, I'm just seeing if this works. Um, and the muses. Confesus. Having trusted in me, or trusting in me, perfect active participle there, um, enter Rome confidently, or bravely, I will take care of you. Having said, locutus, perfect active participle, hike these things, he handed over a liar to Quintus, quo facto, ablative absolute, with which thing having been done, connecting relative, having done which thing, having done this, he vanished. Quintus, temporal clause, when he'd woken up, was rejoicing in the dream, he got up, he entered the city, he did not know, did not know, I'm looking for a question word, and then I am looking for a subjunctive, because it's an indirect question. He did not know what was going to happen at Rome. Nesquiwit, perfect tense, secondary sequence, question about the future, so future participle and imperfect form of to be. But trusting in Apollo about the future, he did not fear duteous, comparative adverb, any longer. Paukis post diebus. A few days afterwards, he was crossing the forum when a certain young man called him. He turned around and he saw Marcus Cicero running up to him, present participle. He, having embraced Quintus, said, Greetings, Quintus. How are you? Ergo. Um, and so at last you have dared to return to Rome. Again, semi deponent verb. Benny, come with me and tell me all of the things which have happened to you since we were defeated at Philippi. Marcus took him home, and when they were sitting, temporal clause, imperfect subjunctive, in the garden, drinking wine, which is what Marcus likes to do, present participle, he said, tell me, quomodo, how, so tell, verb of perception, tell me how you fled, so tell me um, is going to be imperative primary sequence, how you fled, question about the past, so it's perfect subjunctive, how you fled from the fight and what you did, another perfect subjunctive afterwards. Quintus told him everything. Marcus was listening to him eagerly. Then he asked, asking, so again, perception, what he was going to do. Future question, so future participle following a perfect tense, secondary sequence, future participle with imperfect form to be. Quintus sadly responded, I don't know, present tense verb, so it's going to be future participle, indirect question with a present form of subjunctive. I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, I am wasting away in poverty, opus. Um, so, here, um, I need to take on some work, ut, purpose clause, in order that I might obtain food or bread for myself. Marcus was silent, purpose clause there, plus the present subjunctive, was silent for a little while, then he said, Quintus, listen to me, I have an excellent plan, superlative, Laura. Um, Nuper, recently I have been made a quaestor of the treasury. Do you want to help me? Do you want to become my a, a scribe of the treasury? The duties are not serious, and you will earn enough money with your help, Quintus. Um, or, sorry, I would gladly use your help, Quintus. If you come tomorrow, time when ablative, at the second hour, um, to the treasury, I will make you a scribe. Quintus, rejoicing in the trust of Marcus, 
thanked him. Perfect active participle, goesis. He said, oh, my dearest friend, you have given me, offered me new hope. It would please me very much to help you in the treasury tomorrow. I will be present, prima luce, time and ablative, at first light. He said goodbye to Marcus and he hurried home, ut, in order to prepare himself for his new duties, purpose clause, imperfect subjunctive, posture The next day, prima luce, at first light, he was present at the treasury. He was received, um, commentar, politely by the scribe, because he was a friend of Marcus. He explained to Quintus what he was needing to do. He explained, perfect tense, what, question word, deberet, he had to do, so it's going to be um, what he was having to do, so it's going to be a indirect question, secondary sequence, and it's a question about the present, so it's imperfect subjunctive. The, jo um, the duties, the jobs, the duties, just as Marcus had said, were not serious. He was needing to corral it to take care of the public records. He was returning responses to the magistrates if they were asking anything about the Republic. Every day at first light he was present at the treasury. Uh, by midday, with his negotis, abbot of absolute confectis, with his duties finished, he was accustomed to return home. Very well done, everyone. I look forward to seeing you next week.